Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 31 to 32. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who want to support me for all the stuff that I do put out, um, I do have all these to read without any sort of censorship, any cat logo blurs, and also gain early access to all my content. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew. What is the real reason you wanted to meet with me? Oh, she really not beating around the bush. I... I'd like to marry Gwen. You too? And what did you just say? And if you're so keen on marrying her now, why you reject us, an audience, when we first tried to reach out to you about her pregnancy? Hello, baby. Episode 31. I was initially pretty worried, but looking at him now, he's hot and looks like he must be pretty wealthy. But that's all the more reason to be suspicious of his true in intentions. I will find out for you, Gwen. Wait, Carol, calm down. It's about time we hear an explanation from him. No, you deserve an explanation from him. Can you explain things? More clearly? Uh, uh As I thought, you haven't brought it up to him yet, Gwen? It's not that I didn't want to, but I don't find it necessary anymore. Of course it is. To be honest, I've always been against the idea of him just barging into your life. Like, there was never anything wrong. But in hindsight, it's all my fault, isn't it? I'm the one who ran away, uh, who ran off. What? Please, Gwen. I also want to understand how we got here. Uh, when? All right. You are five weeks pregnant, miss. Is your husband with you today? We should... No, it's okay. I'll be on my way. So, what is it? What should I do? This can't be happening. There, there. Looks like another case of unwanted pregnancy. Oh. oh. Do you remember the guy's name? He said it was Arthur Morante. That means we at least have something to go off of. But what if he doesn't recognize me? Or even the baby? If he doesn't, I'll kick and punch him and say, Go to hell! Ugh! Although, I'll think if we need that, It'll be more of your domain. And at that point, at least we could have, we would have tried to tell him about the baby. After that, the ball will be in his court. How about you stay with us for a while? Ditch that fake family of yours. Uh, hey, <laughs> it's true, right? I helped her get out of the for godforsaken household. The Gomez family welcomes you, you. The Gomez family welcomes you, dear. My parents and Uncle Leo, Gwen's stepdad, were lifelong friends. She's family to us. <laughs> After that, we tried finding you with the only clue we had. And to no avail. Ta -ta. Until one day... <gasps> Gwen! Oh, Carlo, what is it? Big Fifth, the... F that knife guy over there wants to give the f this to you. Ah, uh, where did he go? That is... Uh, <gasps> huh? This seems fishy, or liney, I guess. Carol, it's him. What's his deal? Why not give this directly to you? Creepy. How about we ask Carlo again where he found this, huh? Doom. Maybe he's just told us an exaggerated story. We learned that some people from a certain construction firm visited our old town. And so we decided to give it a visit. 
I'm sorry, but I was told we have no business with a Miss Gwen Zalameda. What do you mean? I I'm sorry. I'm only relaying what I was told from above. Call him again. Carol, maybe we should stop. Uh, it is true that I'm the one who gave the doll to that boy to give to Gwen. You have the audacity to give her a gift, but too cowardly to give it to her uh, with your own hands? Oh, you mean that Gwen girl? I've heard she already has a boyfriend. Huh? I'm gonna give, be big, big fifth future boyfriend. What? I'm gonna be big fifth five future BF. That's, that's because it's a long story. And you believed her? Oh my gosh, a sense and rage. Jeez, I can't believe that lame story is the reason we're in this situation. She's a famous gossip monger in our area. Uh, I'd also like to confirm that I never rejected anyone by Gwen's name. If I, if I knew you had come looking for me, I would have came to the lobby to pick you up myself, I swear. To be continued. I want some cheeseburger. Dude, that sounds so good. Don't even tempt me. I would also like to confirm that I never rejected anyone by Gwen's name. If I knew you had come looking for me, I would have came to the lobby to pick you up myself. I swear. Hello, baby. Episode 32. Uh? This won't do. Follow me outside. We'll settle this with booze. Uh, yes, mother-in-law. Oh, uh, mother? Who decided that? Oh, oh. So, so sorry. Uh, he usually stops crying when I do this, but this time. Oh, oh what's wrong, baby? Yeah. Welcome. I'm Lydia. I'm Carol. Oh, so this is the nanny that Gwen is talking about. She looks ni really nice. What's wrong, Leah? Yeah. Hmm. I guess I have been feeding him with a bottle a lot lately. But there's been so many people around lately. Sorry, Leon. We'll go on ahead. I'll message you uh, our location. B but take care of Leon. Okay. I got this. Their friend's not eating here. Uh, are they going to be all right? You must find it funny that I'm giving Gwen the baby treatment, huh? Not at all. After all, she said you were her family. That is very like Gwen. And of course it's true that I'm like her fam, her mother already. <laughs> Would it be okay to call you Carol? Well, don't get too ahead of yourself, kid. Oh, come on. I hated it when my parents decided to move us back to the countryside. I really stuck out, probably more than I intended. Still, even despite being unapproachable, one person talked to me. Long story short, she's an incredibly kind person. There's not a mean bone in her. But that's also made her so naive. She's popular. She'd been easy to make fun of her for it. She's so clueless about how popular she is with boys. <sighs> Looking around earlier, I can tell you've been taking great care of her and Leon. I've been shifting a lot of blame on the others, especially to you. In reality, I need to be the one to take accountability. This all happened because I pushed her too far that night on the cruise. Hearing, after hearing that, I should be thankful to you. It's true that what happened between us was intense. But is it really so bad that our relationship is unconventional? It may have been just a one night stand. But for me, even just meeting her gave me life. It's beautiful. I've always been the type to never work towards a solution when I feel stuck or depressed. I know it's not ideal, but I've always been someone who is just complacent to everything around me. 
no matter how it makes me feel. So I can't confidently say that I am genuinely in love with her. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. <laughs> I've been thinking about it since earlier, but this guy, he's too straightforward, isn't he? But how about you? What's your story? Not all men would bother to take on the responsibility of coming back to their illegitimate child, no offense. It's obvious to me that you really like her, but I can't help but feel there's more to this than just having a crush. That's... Oh, already full? <laughs> oh, your friends really cares for the both of you, huh? I rarely, rarely see Artie become obedient. Well, aside from when it comes to you or his mother. I really hope they get along. They're both direct, so I'm hoping that won't cause any issues. <laughs> Nana? Hmm. What is Arthur's family like? I've only met Faye, and she's a really nice person. I'd like to present myself better next time, if possible. Oh dear, don't worry too much. Really? I'll be there to help you when you need. Regardless, they're all more or less like Faye. These types of questions never occurred to me before. But ever since Arthur and I decided to work things out for Leon, I can't help but want to put my best foot forward. Thank you, Nana, for always helping me out. I'm sure it's exhausting going back and forth to all these homes like you do. Oh, you, it's nothing. I greatly enjoy the company of you both. <laughs> like when? I know how Artie can be pushy at times. Are you sure you want this? It feels like the universe is telling me to hold on to this second chance. Yes. That's why I've decided to grab it tenderly. Please come again. Ugh. When are you going to tell her about it? To be continue. Spill the tea! No, seriously, what just happened? Why does her friend seem, Carol, seem so defeated there? What does he have on his mind that he has yet to tell Gwen? What is he holding back on? Or is it the news about him being infertile? Hmm. A lot, a lot going on in my head right now. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!